We just busted the head of the LGBTQ Democrats of Maryland going after a 14-year-old. Groomers are about to be mad. Uh, full video dropping for subscribers. I think it's. I think you said in the comments down here. It's like on locals or something now as well. But uh, let's uh, let's listen to this. This sounds fun. The uh, head of the LGBTQ Dems in Maryland. Okay. How long have you been in that position for? Since fall. Since fall. Okay. Is that like a paid position? Okay. Just more of a volunteer type thing. Is it like a super PAC or something, or is it just? A... Okay. And this stuff said here, like, you know. I want to rape you. I want to see how much of a faggot you are. What was kind of said about that? Yeah. I like the fantasy, and he seemed to enjoy it. And I didn't know this person, and he never intended to. Do you think that's a judgment, though? Like, no, of course. With, no, of course. Not. I mean, here we said it's okay if you want to jerk off looking at it, talking about your dick. And he said, stop by this morning so I can stretch your whole faggot. <laughs> Can't wait to make you my little bull. And this was. Later that, or shit, four days later with no response. Can't wait to yes. make you my little cum dump, baby boy. What okay. the fuck? Anyway, you're the, uh, anyway. Head of the LGBTQ Dems in Maryland. Okay. Holy shit, that started looping and I was so whiplashed. I didn't even pause it in time. <laughs> Holy fuck. Ha happy Pride Month. <laughs> Profiling bigots. I just love the matter of fact way that guy was talking. Holy shit. <laughs> Maryland LGBTQ Dem activist leader caught in child sex predator sting. A leader of the LGBTQ Diversity Council for the Maryland Democrats has been caught in an alleged sex predator sting. Michael Knappen was confronted by journalist Alex Rosen and read messages reportedly from Knappen to a 14-year-old boy. Rosen walked up to Knappen while he was in a restaurant and brought him outside to engage him about the messages he had you allegedly left with the teenager. Hey, you can't make me! Why the fuck is my state of Maryland full of the worst shit? <laughs> I'm sorry, Maryland can't be saved. It's lost now. Sean Hiroki, thank you for the five dollar doodles, my guy. <laughs> Oh my god. Rosen asked Knappen about multiple different explicit messages that he was allegedly sending to a 14-year-old boy. Knappen seemed to admit to the messages on video. And this is, uh, I think, the same, the same anyway, one we just watched. Yeah, it's 54 up. seconds. The journalist confirmed with Knappen that he had sent a text where the boy had said he was 14 years of age. When Rosen initially brought up the text messages, Knappen admitted to it and said that it was provocative conversation with the boy. When Rosen asked if the LGBTQ activist had sent penis pictures to him, Knappen replied, I'm sure. Rosen then asked why there was a masturbation video sent in the messages. The activist replied, I told you, it was a provocative conversation. Rosen asked him about his position as the chair of the LGBTQ Diversity Council for Maryland Democrats and then pressed him on the messages. Uh, I'm not going to reread that we heard in the video, but you know, <sighs> you know. Uh, Knappen said that he liked the fantasy and the teenage boy on the other end of the conversation seemed to enjoy it. Rosen posted the screenshots of the messages allegedly between Knappen and the teenager. Oh no. Want daddy to show you his fat hairy dick? You hungry little guy? Oh my god! Who talks like this? Who fucking talks like that? The wood chipper grows thirsty. Thanks, Alex Rosen, for bringing this degeneracy. Ew. Ew. Oh, God. I can't even read this first message. Like, I know he wasn't actually talking to a 14-year-old, but he thought he was. And so this makes me feel incredibly fucking disgusting. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's bad. What in the fuck? He, a wood chipper is too good for this man. We need, we need to take him to Mexico and let the cartels flay his skin off while keeping him alive. <laughs> Holy crap. Do you have a big you use on your girlfriend? Uh, word I can't say, boy. And the, 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 the person pretending to be a 14-year-old says, You're so dumb, it's insane. <laughs> and then after the show you your fat hairy dick comment... The, suppose, the the person pretending to be a teenager said, Sup, dipshit. <laughs> and he replies, Respect your elders, little buddy. And the, the person pretending to be a teen said, Should I push you around in a wheelchair? The teenager isn't even reciprocating anything. This guy is just super fucking creepy. 
I mean, he's creepy anyways, but it's just like, holy fuck, dude. Doesn't sound, yeah, it doesn't sound like he was enjoying it. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> doesn't even, it's like, I'd love to fuck you today, boy. Can we make that happen? No response for like a week. And then he says, hey, <laughs> no response for a day. And then the person pretending to be a 14 year old says, sup, loser. <laughs> Oh my god, do a little fashion show and send daddy all of your cutest outfits. I love looking at you and you love to show off. The person goes, nah, I'm playing a video game right now. <laughs> How do you keep talking like this to someone who is so clearly not interested? Like, let's let's forget about the fact that this person's pretending to be a 14 year old for a second, right? Even if this wasn't as creepy as it is, how would you continue talking like this to someone who was just so clearly not wanting to deal with your bullshit? Trying to flirt with women be like... Oh my god, it feels like you're the type to forget to drink water. And the pedophile's response is, and I mean it, I love looking at you. You're just the handsomest boy I've ever seen. The nicest text sent back was the thank you. Why don't you hang around more to remind me to drink water? It's so cute how concerned you are for me. I'll drink more water if you drink my cum, deal. This is a fully grown man talking like this to someone he thinks is 14. What the actual fuck? Can we not just throw the pedo into a volcano? Look, I'm, I'm all for bringing back volcanic sacrifices, okay? I'm all for that. <laughs> Time to escape from New York, about 20% of population. <laughs> Jesus. This is illegal, isn't it? As in very, yeah, this is illegal. <laughs> this is very illegal. I think we're renting a house. Have you ever been there? Yes, what? What else am I supposed to reply to that sick one word answer? I love how he's even roasting the guy for that. Anything you want, Cranky Sue, your hard work. I hope that boy hole is nice and soft. Imagine fucking up badly enough to get your dedicated glowy to shut the fuck up instead of giving him more evidence. Oh, this is- this is actually just fucking insane. Actually just fucking insane to me that someone would talk like this. Even if you're a disgusting vio pedal at- pedo, at least have some self-respect! I just like- I can't! This is so fucking terrible! Jesus Christ. The journalist asked Knappen about a message that read, Want daddy to show you his fat, hairy dick, hungry little guy, Sorry as well as others. <laughs> Devin Adair, thank you for the two. No volcano, only a long, slow ending. Dangle them slowly into the volcano so you can hear their screams. As well as others, another message purportedly from Knapen to the miner said, do a little fashion show, we read that. Other explicit messages were shared on Rosen's social media that were allegedly between Knappen and the teenager. Oh no, dude. Spanking it is, little boy. You want a big, older, muscular man to spank your ass and send call you a bad boy? You- you can't fucking tell me you have so little self-respect! Not only do you continu continue talking like this to someone who's not interested, but you also can't even sp fucking grammar correctly! I'm so mad. I'm so fucking mad. I hate this man. The wood chipper is too good for him. Please understand, he's typing with one hand. I've typed with one hand before and I have better grammar than this man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, this is fucking grotesque. I don't even want to read half of these. If just hypothetically you and I had sex, I would have committed a crime and would be at risk for prison. Holy shit. Oh my, he's actually telling the kid to lie about the age. No way, dude. No fucking way. This man needs to no longer exist. He needs to be evaporated. 
This guy's been fired, right? He's just a volunteer. You can't get fired from a volunteer position. <laughs> I legit never drink soda. Well, then you can order a water and I'll get a coffee. I'll lecture you and you can check out my body and wish I was doing illegal and unspeakable things to you. What the fuck? According to his LinkedIn page, Knappen did not want to be an activist, but instead saw his LGBTQ work as being an effectivist. The fuck does that mean? A longtime LGBTQ activist and a leader in the Maryland Democratic Party was allegedly caught, blah, blah, blah. And there's just pictures, nothing, nothing new here. These look like the same, the same video. His profile on the Maryland Democrats page stated, Michael Knappen, Mike, he, him, is a native Wisconsinite who has lived in Montgomery County, Maryland for all but one of the past 10 years. There, he has helped form and lead the LGBTQ Democrat of Montgomery County, lobbied in Annapolis for LGBTQ measures, and organized Stonewall Riot commemorative events. I feel like we can take the your community must self-police thing here a bit seriously, right? Like, if you want anyone to take any sort of, like, LGBT anything seriously, you should probably, I don't know, call out these people who are vile pedophiles, maybe? Don't understand- I understand why Wisconsin didn't want him! Wait, he's HIV positive? Wait, how do you know that? How do you know that? Oh! Oh, fuck! Oh, fuck! On- on his fucking- is this a LinkedIn profile? I don't know what this is. If this is LinkedIn, I don't want to be an activist. I want to be an effectivist. University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, HIV plus hepatitis policy institute. So not only was he sending sexy messages to someone he thought was a 14 year old boy, but he's HIV positive and was intending to have illegal sex. He was going to rape. He was going to rape this teenager and pause the neg hole. What the actual fuck? HIV in bio. <laughs> Is HIV in bio the same or worse as pronouns in bio? <laughs> what is this fucking episode of Law and Order? Holy shit, dude. You think it's HIV plus Hepatitis Policy Institute? I hope that it's HIV plus Hepatitis Policy Institute because of the little, the little whole brackets here. But like, what, what even would be HIV and Hepatitis Policy Institute? What, what, what HIV policy is needed here? If, if I read this incorrectly. These people get off at infecting people with diseases. Well, I'm going to pull it back a second. He's still a disgusting vermin who needs the wood chipper, but... If I read this incorrectly, and it's just talking about doing HIV and hepatitis policy, I don't know what policy you would be doing, but at, le at least he's not trying to deliver presents. Decriminalize HIV is probably what it is. Disgusting. Disgusting. Let's see here. Uh, Maryland Democratic Party has quietly removed Michael Knappen, an HIV activist, and a leader in the Maryland Democratic Party from its website after he was allegedly caught in a si child sex predators thing. Quite, quite literally HIV activist. What the fuck? I'm Mike and I'm gay and I love who I am. Happy pride. Happy pride, Michael. You just got caught trying to fuck a 14 year old. <laughs> 